This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorendorf. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. fans, the countdown to the Cauliflower Alley Club continues. We've seen Vince McMahon. We've seen Lou Thez. What about today? A huge uh, experience live and a great experience for fans at home, especially those that loved the WWWF. Captain Lou Albano receives his oh. Cauliflower Alley Club Award with a few uh, adult spirits in him. Presented by the late Gorilla Monsoon and Pedro Morales. Johnny, it was a dream for me to be around these guys. Let me tell you, I, I did some shows with Captain Lou. What a great, great human being. And who could ever forget the commentary and wrestling of Gorilla Monsoon and Bruno San Martino, Boston Garden, when he slammed Monsoon and the ring collapsed. I mean... Unbelievable. I, the, you just got it all. With these guys, you got it all. And Pedro Morales, I remember him uh, at the Boston Garden. Tony can tell you more because he was closer. But you know what? Pedro Morales, I don't know where he's gone, where he's at. I wish I could get him out. He could sure. make some appearances. What a wonderful human being. Yeah, he lives in New Jersey. He's a but great yeah, I, human I being. I saw him, I, I would say, maybe about 15 years ago. I went to a gym, and he worked out. I can't remember the town, but I was there with... Uh, the Savoti, and he, he, the gym I went to, he, he was there. He won't do appearances. Yeah. Any quick memories of Captain Lou, Tony? You worked with him an awful lot during your career in WWF <clears throat> and into the 80s. Y'all had your dinner? I mean, y'all eating already? No. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> you better eat first. All right. <laughs> Captain Lou Albano, guy you do in years ago, they called him Blade Jobs. Oh, yes. Yeah. He cut his cheek one time with a razor blade and stuck his tongue through it. Oh! That's what made him such a memorable character. You know the phrase that he's famous for? I don't know if you read his book or not. And I'm still waiting for a copy of your book. <laughs> but the, um, <laughs> the phrase that Albano was famous for was, often imitated, but never duplicated. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, there's nobody on this earth today or ever they can ever imitate the one, the great, the late Captain Lou Albano. He had, he had more energy. Oh, well, you're going to see it in a second. More, more energy, you know, and, and, he, and he was just a, a good guy. You know, Freddie Blassie and all them guys, they would sit in the dress room and they would help you. And if you listen to them, you come out, you know, smelling like a rose. One of the greatest people, I don't know if y'all going to be talking about him doing this show that I met when I first went to the uh, uh, WWE was... Uh, Chief J. Strongboat. He God was a wonderful, soul. wonderful individual. He was a very, very close friend of mine. He always tried to advise me and tell me what to do. Honest Scolding was another one. You know, Golden Moore, Honest Scolding, you know, with the big seagull and everything, you know. I, I was lucky to be in the presence of, of so many uh, wonderful uh, people. And you don't realize how wonderful they are until you don't have the opportunity. Until they're gone. Unfortunately, yeah. Captain Lou is no longer with us, but you can relive his spirit. Uh, this is Captain Lou like you've never seen him before in the professional wrestling genre. This is Lou at a Cauliflower Alley Club, Club banquet, enjoying himself to a great degree. Check out Captain Lou Albano and fans. The 50th Cauliflower Alley Club reunion in Las Vegas is sold out. I'm telling you, get ready for the 51st. Become a member. It's a great nonprofit organization that helps out the greats in this sport with medical expenses. Sometimes we pay for funerals. Yeah. It's a great fraternity experience. <laughs> Check out Captain Lou now. Check out caulifloweralleyclub.org. Again, is a man that has done everything in wrestling. He's a wrestler. He's been a manager, probably the most famous, exciting manager in professional wrestling. When he gets out there and talks, you listen. If you don't, you're in trouble. He's never been accused of being quiet or being lost birds. 
But in order to get the presentation going, we need to have the new president of the WF, Rilla Monsoon, and Pedro Morales. Rilla and Pedro Morales will come up here. They I'm sure these can tell us something about this next man that you all are going to want to hear because there's got to be a lot of things to know about this guy. Let's have the one only Mr. Lou Arnold, the captain himself, please. Come on, I know that you, you have a bad knee, bad will. Help an old day. It's a pleasure to be with Albano, we all beautiful people, and uh, I've been around Albano about 35 for a year, uh, yes, and believe me, always keep us uh, laughing, and uh, Patrick should know that, <laughs> yes, and uh, it's a pleasure to be with Albano, and I hope that God keep him healthy and good looking. That <laughs> should make it healthy. <laughs> Yes, Governor. Before in my entire life, that we got six feet. <laughs> I've known you for more years than I care to remember. About 40. About 40. Uh, Lou Albano is one of the stalwarts of our office, always has been, always will be. You're ready with a helping hand to anybody that needed it, if you needed it or not. We were there for you. Lou Albano, family man. <laughs> A real man, a man's man. Times Lou is, is funny and hilarious and wants to be the center of attraction, and he is. But that's Lou Albano. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass, but. Well, <laughs> Lou Albano to me is a, a, someone who I'll never forget in my entire life. Uh, some of the things he's done over the years, especially inside the ring, which I really don't care to go into this particular gathering. Uh, I think I had a. Some of my greatest matches with Lou, believe it or not, most of them he didn't. He doesn't even remember being in the ring with me. Are you saying that I participated in a few uh, <coughs> alcoholic beverages? Uh, you know, sort of resemble that remark, though. <laughs> but, you know, in all seriousness, it's great that an organization such as this, with such a scheme, there's a, such tremendous people that gathered here this evening. Possibly the greatest intelligent ones in the wrestling business are located in this room this evening to honor someone like Captain Lobano, who undoubtedly deserves it. Captain Lobano. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, Gorilla, I want to thank you very much, Pedro Morales. I'm a 64 year old man that's been in the wrestling business since 1951. And I want to first of all, Pat Patterson, uh, Bruce, Louis, uh, all you fellows at the table from the WWF, along with Gorilla Monsoon and Pedro Moss, who is truly a legend in wrestling, is a world champion, I believe, four or five years, Pedro. Okay. But then I want to get back to Neil, real nitty gritty. I want to talk about the, you are a legend, Pedro, and don't let me over your head. But I want to talk about people like legendary, the man that made wrestling, I believe it is today, a man that will go down in the annals of history, I should say men. But first of all, let's talk about Lou Thess. Luthez is without a doubt. I've never had the honor of being close to Luthez or had the honor of actually being a He is a friend. Maybe let's call it uh, transubstational levelation, whatever you want to call it, I'll make it up. But I want to tell you, I, through the year, I've always admired Luthez as a man's man. A man that could stand up all and bring wrestling. Well, today it's not bad, but it's not the class of what I feel wrestling should be like years ago, okay? Let's put it that way. I who gets insulted or not. Then you're talking about a guy, Lou, a guy like Freddie Blassie, all right? Freddie Blassie, legend in his own time. I managed Freddie. I managed Freddie Blassie. When Freddie Blassie was 34 or 35 years old, was still sold out on the place. They still went into Madison Square Garden and had turn away outs. And then you got people like a guy sitting there with a not only like people with beards, Red Bastine. Now, Red is my age. Red Bastine is one of the finest wrestling legends of all time. He's a club wrestler. He had poise. He had wrestling charisma. Red had it all together. Look at my manager sitting there, Barry Geiger. You're laughing at you. Little Jewish kids are all alike. Looking for the buck, huh? All right, let's talk about okay, Tony Kazenza. Tony Kazenza? It's a man that nobody could beat in the arm wrestling country. Back in the old days with Mike Zerke and so forth, you Tony Kazenza, forget about it. Then you got a man, said a 90-year-old, 
Let me tell you something about A.B. Coleman. A.B. Coleman, without a doubt, again, Luthez, with Eddie Blasi, with Tony Gazzazza. These are what I call the legends of all time. Do I put you in that class? And Pedro, right a little bit below that because these are a little up of your head. Now we'll talk about, all right, all right, all right. Dominic Danucci here. Them little giddy kids are all alive, but he's not a bad guy. You got Davey Johannes. Dave Hannon, the guy's good for about 400 grand here with the longshoreman, you know, whatever he does, newspapers, pet boy, plant house, it's in the back. Look how he sharp left, said, I don't need to, I got my own organization, the hell with the WWF and the CW. All right? <coughs> they had a friend of mine, Mark Lewin, uh, years ago wrestled. Mark was an okay guy, I'm not knocking him <laughs> either way, but his brother, Teddy, a true legend, Teddy's an artist, he does children's comic books, he's a great, great guy, a great friend. Hey, Lewin, God bless you, we love you. All right? Now, if there's anybody out there that needs chiropractic hair, I happen to be, by the way, I got chiropractic. I happen to be a gynecologist, a psychiatrist. I will dance, and I tell my patients to open up. I want to talk about women. I want to talk about Billy Dono. Billy Dono was a chiropractor. Man is a legend. Billy, where are you? There he is. Billy and Buddy Rogers had some of the class matches of all time. These guys were great. I'm going to shoot off a minute here. Now, wait a minute. A wee guy in the back named Paulie Dangerously. <laughs> Paulie Happy, when the Grand Wizard Freddy Bazzi and myself were just Paulie's real name, I'm going to tell you right now, it's off Paul Heyman from Scarsdale. Look, there he is in the back, sitting back. That's Paulie Dangerously. So, Paulie, God bless you. You're a good man. You're doing a good job with your organization. All right, let's talk about what else we got here. When you notes, you got my friend Jim Kittner in the back, my manager, Barry Geiger. We mentioned Bruce. We mentioned A.B. Coleman. Who the hell else to get over here? Now, let me just... Now I got... We're talking about boxing. Lou Dovrich and those my son. In fact, him and my mom were cousins. When you talk about boxers, when you talk about one tough... Son, I'm going to use words. Are you, you people before? One tough son of a bitch. You're talking to Chuck Webner. Right there, Chuck Webner. On my best day, that have his hands tied and his feet tied, and I still wouldn't mess with him. He is one tough son of a gun. And then I got my friend sick there, who's going to, what's actually going to give me a little piss in the magazine. Uh, Bert Sugar, Bert Randolph Sugar. You got all greats. But seriously, on a serious note, I would thank all you people for participating. It's a great organization. Thank all you people for being here. And I want to thank professional wrestling to give a life that I have today at 64 years old. Thank God. I'm not a billionaire or a millionaire, <clears throat> but I can manage. I can get along because of professional wrestling. And it's given me a wonderful wife for 43 years, Jerry. My family, four kids, and grandchildren one way. Thanks to professional wrestling. It's helped me in my career. Uh, a Mickey Mouse actor. I'm no Lawrence Olivier. I do a little bit parts. And once again, I've got people like Luthez, Freddie Blasi, A.B. Clint, Angelo Savoldi laying in the back. I didn't get you, Angelo. Thank you. Pay them. Oh, I'm not going to forget you. Rods. I was saving for that. Will you shut up? I knew his name is Johnny Rods. His name is Johnny Rodriguez. Well, it's Johnny Rods. Bald headed thing like a red place. We'll have a, put a condom over and he can go as a. <coughs> excuse me, let me get that. I want to tell you all I want to thank you again, Lou. God bless you. Keep the good work as the president. You people are great. We love. I feel so good, so proud, so fine, and so elated to be here. Woo! I'm Captain. <laughs> Thank you again. God bless you all. We love you. Thank you very much. Believe it or not, Lou is known as the most shy, bashful, and humble individual professional wrestling.